organic traffic or paid traffic? Which one is a better source? And this is something you probably have investigated and you hear both sides. You'll hear the organic traffic people say that's better and then other people prefer paid. Well, what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of each and then you can decide which one is better for you. Let's go over some of the pros of paid, ta uh, paid advertising, paid traffic. Basically, you can scale up as fast as you want. The more money that you pay, the faster that you're gonna scale up and the faster that you'll have results. That's one big advantage of paid advertising. And usually you would pay for ads through Facebook or Google ads or something like that. You can pay as much money as you want and scale up as quickly as you want. Another great feature about paid advertising is you can target your audience. You can actually fit, find out what the interests are of your audience, especially through Facebook ads. That's like one of the best features. And you can find like audiences that are like yours from your Facebook group. Um, there's so many different things you can do with targeting audiences and figuring out what their interests are. Um, you can even target them by region. If you want to target people in a certain city, certain part of the country, certain part of the world, you can do that. So you get to kind of select the audience with paid advertising. Number three is called leverage day parting. And what this means is you can even say when you want your ads to go out. If you're running a company where you're maybe accepting calls and maybe that's your call to action for them to schedule an appointment and a call, then you obviously would want people getting those ads during the times that you're open office hours are. So if you're open from like nine to six, you can run your ads maybe a little bit in the morning and then have them run till maybe four or five o'clock in the afternoon. And you have control of that when those ads are going out, which is really a nice feature. And finally, paid advertising has aggressive, uh, they're aggressive with landing pages and you only pay um, it's called a click through rate. You only pay for the clicks that you get. So if you're out there and you're paying and lots of people are looking at it, unless they click, you're only paying for the clicks. So it's kind of cool that you're, you know, it's more aggressive. You're going to get more results in that regard. So there's four things for the paid advertising. I'm going to go ahead and show you here on the next slide. If you want to go ahead and stop the video and take a picture of that. But basically those are the advantages of using paid advertising. Now let's go ahead and talk about SEO or organic advertising, organic paid, uh, organic traffic. We call it search engine optimization. And basically people are searching for you. These are the two different kinds of marketing actually. When you pay for advertising, you're popping those ads up in front of people. Um, we usually think of it as social media advertising because people are on Facebook or they're you know maybe on Google and ads are just popping up. Or maybe you're even on a blog, you've seen that where the ads are just popping up in your face. But search engine optimization is you are placing your ads or, or your, your um, funnel or whatever you're offering in a certain place. A lot of people do it with YouTube. They might do it on their blog, but then they use certain keywords and people are searching for them. And so in that regard, it almost makes it better because the people coming to you are actually looking for you. Whereas with paid advertising, you're kind of blasting it into their face. So what are some of the benefits of search engine optimization? Actually, you end up getting more traffic in the long run, but it's over time. Search engine optimization is slower. So think of this if you have a YouTube video and you put some certain keywords in and people are looking for it, that video will stay there forever. We call it evergreen, which means it just stays there. You don't have to keep on paying for it, where if you put an ad out, you pay for it for the length of time and then it's gone. And so you have to kind of blast it out if that makes sense. So search engine optimization has a benefit because it sits there and over time it's going to get more traffic because it doesn't go away. It's evergreen, which is a great benefit. Number two, this is the best benefit. It's free. You're paying with your time, but you're not paying with your wallet. Um, it takes time. It can take a year sometimes to grow uh, a really good YouTube channel, for instance, and get it monetized and get people to start paying for um, you starting to make money for having ads put onto your YouTube videos. It takes time. So it can take a year to two years before you really start making money, where with the paid advertising, you can scale it up or down as fast as you want with the money, depending on how much you want to spend. And number three, it's, 
it's organic. The or listings are organic. So again, like I told you before, people are looking for you and typically they're going to have higher click through rates because they're looking for you. They've already got a problem. They see that you can solve it and they're seeking you out. So that is definitely a benefit of search engine optimization. So let's go on and I'll show you those so you can take a picture if you'd like, but those are the three benefits of SEO or search engine optimization, organic traffic. So that brings us back to the question, which one's better? Well, let's do a comparison. Paid, you get to scale fast, up or down as fast as you want. You target your audience and you pay. The more you pay, the more results you get. So it costs you money, but there's a benefit. SEO, it's longer to scale, but it lasts longer anyone can find you. There's no limit. You, you can't control your audience, but anybody can come look for you. And usually the results do take longer and sometimes up to a year. So which one do you think is better? Actually, the answer to this is both are valuable. If you think about it, the paid advertising, they make things happen faster and SEO, it's long lasting and they balance each other out. It helps your business grow with longevity and it also helps it grow quickly if you want that income. Now, how do you find, wh where do you go to get this traffic? You would go to uh, Google AdWords, Facebook ads, SEO, content marketing, social media marketing, email marketing and push notifications. Write those down. Those are six ways that you want to get your product out to the traffic and increase your traffic. It's all six of those ways and they all work and you want a good combination of all of them. So hopefully um, that was helpful to you today. Um, I know for me, I kept hearing both sides and then I thought, well, wait a minute, we need all of it. It, it doesn't, it, you don't just get one without the other. If you have happen to have some extra money, pay for some ads. If you happen to have more time, then take your time to work on that free part. But both of them are valuable. Make sure you subscribe to the links below. I've got a, um, two different trainings below. One is for traffic, organic traffic, and one is for paid traffic. So if you're interested in either one, go ahead and click those links below, take a look at them. They're by some very profitable gurus in the, in the business who um, are experts in both of those fields. And make sure you subscribe to my link and I'll give you some more videos just like this.